Do you ever wonder what God wants for you? You might, well, he wants me to be happy. Yes, that's certainly true. He wants me to have a good life financially and other things like that, of course. I mean, this is God. I know what he wants. Well, let's see in Luke chapter 12 just what God does want. Yes, he wants him to be happy. Luke 12, 29 to 31, okay? And 29 starts out, And seek not what you shall eat, or what you shall drink, neither be of a doubtful mind. How many people doubt in their minds what God wants them to do, or how should I follow him, and what should I do? He said, Don't be of a doubtful mind. 30, for all these things the nations of the world seek after. Well, that's obvious. And your Father knows that you have need of all these things. I mean, God's not surprised to say, Lord, I need food. Really? Yeah, he knows that. And your Father knows that you have need of all this. 31, but rather seek first the kingdom of God, and then all these things shall be added unto you. That's getting very practical. You mean God doesn't want me to eat and be well fed? Of course he does. But let's get priorities straight. Let's get things in order here. Not only seeking what you eat or drink, neither be of a doubtful mind. Now that's one that follows God and believes God up to a point. I mean, naturally, God doesn't want me to do so-and-so and so-and-so. That might be exactly what he wants you to do. See, before we're converted, we may know there's a God and he loves us and all that. So we may not even know that, but he made the world and he's just looking for me to fail and make mistakes. No, he's not. Our whole concept of God is wrong until we get to know him through his blessed Son, Jesus Christ. So he says here, neither be of a doubtful mind. If you're going to follow me, you better do it with your whole heart. That's the only way you're going to find me and learn how much I love you. So, so that verse 3 says, all these the nations of the world seek after this. That's true. We all need to eat. Food, clothing, shelter, those are high priorities. But God says, rather, first thing, seek first. With all your heart, go after the kingdom of God. And then all these things, they're going to be added unto you. Now, how do I know what the kingdom of God is? As I grew up, before I came to Christ, I didn't. I just knew God was off somewhere in heaven and he had all this and that and many things. I didn't know much about him at all. Probably like most people. But the only way you're going to learn about the kingdom of God is get to know his dear, precious son, Jesus, our Savior. Remember, God so loved the world that he gave Jesus to us, and Jesus survived 30 plus years on this earth and then went to the cross. He came to this world to live a sinless life and then to die for mankind. And by the way, he also came to break your heart. Have you ever hard, had your heart broken by God? Then realize that Jesus loves you so much. I mean, Jesus knows all about you, and he still loves you. And that's true of me. He knows all about me, that I'm not perfect. But he still loves me. I've gotten to know that over the years. And he, to me, is such a precious Savior, because he loves me, and loved me way before I loved him. And these things will be added. This is a promise. What you need to eat... Food, clothing, shelter, all these things are going to be added to you if you put me first. 
So put God first in your life. And out there, if you're watching, you're listening, you're reading, ask Jesus to come into your heart. For he will teach you and show you what the kingdom of God is really like. Get to know this blessed Savior. And the way you get to know this Savior is to realize you're a lost sinner, completely lost. And you ask God, Lord, come in and save me. Come in and wash away my sins, that I'll be clean and pure in your sight. Oh, God, bless me and use me. Right now, I surrender. That's what the word is. Surrender my will, Lord, unto your perfect will. I don't know much about you, but come in, please. And Lord, since I've asked you to come in, I thank you for coming in and taking over my life and bringing a new birth in my life that I shall follow you all the rest of the days of my life. Amen and amen.